Well, he's only 17, but he's already making big waves in the science community. This opportunity is to, you know, making such a big impact on the world, on the lives of a lot of people. A local high school senior selected as a semifinalist in the 2015 Intel Science Talent Search. His research on stem cells set him apart. Only on CBS 13, Mojgan Shurkat tells us about this team and the specific topic he researched that has not been explored before. Out of hundreds of applicants, a Sheldon High School senior is being recognized for his research in stem cells, an opportunity he says he won't soon forget. Each of these uh, cells is um, genetic material from one cell. He doesn't come from a line of doctors or medical researchers. He's just a teenager interested in stem cells. But it's such a young field and it holds so much potential to really redefine what we think is medically possible. Ryan Fong is a senior at Sheldon High School. He wasn't always intrigued by science, but a couple of years back at the request of a teacher, he decided to enter the biotech challenge and happened to win an internship at the UC Davis School of Medicine. I didn't know anything about research. and I didn't know what I was getting into. I dived in head first. That internship became a launching pad for Fong. He was published in a medical peer reviewed journal called Stem Cells. And just this past summer, he spent his time in Stanford among doctors and researchers, working on reprogramming cells from a layer of skin so that it can match any cell type in the body. We're taking someone's cells from their skin and turning them into cells that can be found in the lungs. Their research on the topic won Fong a spot as a semifinalist in the 2015 Intel Science Talent Search and a $1,000 scholarship. Uh, definitely said a few prayers of thanks and everything because it was definitely one of the you know, greatest moments so far this year. But Fong doesn't expect their research to stop there. He hopes it'll end up making a difference in the long run by changing people's lives. In the long term, we would like to use these cells and explore the possibility of genetically engineering them, correcting genetic uh, defects and then using them as transplants or something like that. Fong's award-winning research is also benefiting the school. It'll be receiving a thousand dollar award as well. Fong plans to follow his passion. His first step is to get a bachelor's degree in science. <laughs>